Greetings everyone. So today I want to show you how you can prevent your PDF from opening inside the Windows Edge browser on Windows 10 versus opening inside of Adobe Reader. So I'm going to go through the steps of showing you how to prevent that from happening inside your web browser. Okay, on Windows 10 by default, every time you open a PDF, it's going to automatically open inside the Windows Edge browser. Now, you might not want that to happen because there's some limit to that. Sometimes you can't print, sometimes you can't do certain things. It varies. I've seen people run into various issues when their PDFs open inside the Edge browser. But when it opens inside the Adobe Reader, then you get a little bit more flexibility. So let's go to the steps right now to show you how to prevent your PDFs from opening inside the web browser. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the Adobe Reader installed on your system. So if you don't, you need to go to the website, which is Adobe website. I'll leave the link in the description that takes you straight there. And then you want to download the PDF Reader. There's a free version and then there's a pro version. You don't need the pro version. Just download the free PDF Reader. Make sure it's installed before you go to the next step. If you already have it installed, then all you have to do is go to the start button and type in default apps. Once you get into default apps, you want to scroll down until you see choose default apps by file type. Click on that link right there. Click on the words and then you want to wait for it to load up because it's going to take a little while. Once it loads up, you want to stroll all the way down till you find PDF. It's going to be on the left side. Once you stroll down and you find it on the left side, you're going to look over to the right and you're going to see Microsoft Edge as the default app to open PDFs. And like I said, if Adobe Acrobat Reader is not already installed on your system, then you need to go ahead and install it before you proceed to the next step. So if you have to install the Adobe Acrobat Reader, well, go ahead and do that now and then come back to the next step. Now, when you go back to default apps and you go to choose default apps by file type, you're going to see the Adobe Reader on the list. You want to choose that instead for the PDF. It's going to warn you, do you really want to change this? Yes, you want to do that. So choose the Adobe Reader. Then you want to go back out. Now, when you choose a PDF, it should open in the PDF Reader. But there's one more thing you need to change because if you open a file now inside the web browser, the Edge browser that is, it's automatically going to still open inside the browser. So let's go back into the web browser and make some changes there to make sure that any file that's inside a web page or anything is open inside the Acrobat Reader instead of the Edge browser. So once you get back into the Edge browser, you want to click on the three dots at the top right. And then you want to scroll all the way down to where you see settings. Click on settings. Once the settings appear, you want to scroll all the way down to cookies and site permission on the left side. Once you click on cookies and site permission, you want to go to the right side and scroll all the way down to where you see PDF documents. So when you get into site permission and PDF documents, you'll notice that the always download PDF file button is off. Once you turn it on, it's going to prevent it from opening inside the web browser and force it to be downloaded so you can open it inside the Adobe PDF Reader. So you will see that drop down menu with the downloaded file. And once you click open, it's going to automatically open inside the Adobe Acrobat Reader instead of the Microsoft Edge browser, which is what you want. And the reason why you want to do all this is because some files that's created looks for the Adobe Acrobat Reader. And if it's open inside the Edge browser, you could run into some error issue. And then the file might not be designed to be edited or anything like that inside the Edge browser. It all depends. PDF are a little tricky when they're open inside the Edge browser versus when they're open inside the Adobe Reader. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.